At almost $20 billion, the U.S. Navy's USS Gerald R. Ford is the most expensive aircraft ever built, with almost $5 billion in research alone. In addition to being the most expensive warship, it is also considered the most capable warship in the world. USS Gerald R. Ford is the lead ship of her class of United States Navy aircraft carriers. The ship is named after the 38th President of the United States, Gerald Ford, whose World War II naval service included combat duty on aboard of the light aircraft carrier Monterey, in the Pacific Theater. The USS Gerald R. Ford has a length of 337 meters, with a beam of 78 meters and height of 76 meters, making the warship so big, the biggest ever built. In fact, it is twice bigger than Camp Nou, the biggest stadium in Europe. With such a big size, the Ford-class ships can carry more than 75 planes, and maybe up to 90. Picked from a wide assortment of aircraft, including the Boeing Super Hornet, EA-18G Growler, C-2 Greyhound and E-2 Hawkeye, F-35 fighter jets, along with Sikorsky SH-60 Seahawk helicopters and unmanned drones. It can carry almost twice the number of planes than any other aircraft carrier in the world. Additionally, this small floating city of the Ford class of carriers has been designed with new quality of life enhancements. If sailors eat too many sweets and get a cavity anyway, there's a dental office on board. If they gain weight, they can work it off at one of the ship's three fully loaded gyms, complete with weightlifting machines, bikes, treadmills, elliptical heavy bags for boxing and CrossFit gear, such as boxes and kettlebells. All those satisfy, Captain John Meyer's words, the commanding officer of the USS Gerald R. Ford, when he told the Navy Times the ship has the best gyms on the waterfront. And that's only the beginning of the quality of life improvements added to the new Ford class of carriers. The 180-man sleeping areas of the Nimitz class have been replaced with smaller, quieter, 40-man smaller berthings. In addition, each sleeping area on the Ford has its own dedicated gender-neutral bathroom and toilets. Bam! Right on in, you know? It's comfortable. Sailors have been given new lounge areas too, with Wi-Fi, comfortable seating and flat-screen TVs with on-demand programming. Unlike in the past, these areas are now located away from berthings, so sailors at play won't wake up those trying to sleep. The ship has various chapels, which provides religious services for sailors of many different faiths. Chapels are located in a quieter area. For those that want to go shopping, eat some ice creams, the ship has a supermarket within it. Its own onboard store, a time capsule and a coffee shop, where sailors can get their Starbucks fix. If you get sick on the Ford-class aircraft carrier, you don't have to worry about treatment, because Gerald Ford Aircraft Carrier has an onboard hospital that includes a full laboratory, pharmacy, operating room, three-bed intensive care unit, two-bed emergency room, and 41-bed hospital ward, staffed by 11 medical officers and 30 hospital copsmen. The warship also was developed to incorporate many technological advancements to ensure that it will be the most capable and efficient carrier in service anywhere in the world. This has included replacing the legacy steam-powered systems with electric drive components, ensuring that there is a longer time between maintenance schedules, and notably improved survivability thanks to better hull design, firefighting systems and weapon stowage. And, of course, no warship would be complete without guns. The USS Gerald R. Ford is equipped with three MK-15 Phalanx close-in weapons systems. Nicknamed R2-D2, because of its shape, the SUS has a 20mm M61 Vulcan Gatling gun autocannon, 
that fires 4,500 rounds of armor-piercing tungsten per minute. It's considered the last line of automated defense against incoming missiles and attack aircraft. But the carrier's defenses don't end above decks. The ship comes loaded with a supply of RIM-162 evolved Sea Sparrow missiles and two launchers to protect it and its crew against enemy aircraft and incoming missiles. Built by Raytheon, these medium-range surface-to-air missiles measure 12 feet long, have 83-pound warhead and cost just under $1 million each. Ford-class ships will also be able to fire smaller RIM-116 rolling airframe missiles, just like the Nimitz-class ships preceding it. Despite their slower speed and smaller size, they measure 9 feet, 2 inches long with a 24-pound, 15-ounce warhead. These homing missiles are also priced just under $1 million. These missiles are designed to shoot down incoming enemy missiles before they can strike the ship. The carrier is embedded with one of these, so-called immature technologies, the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, designed to catapult planes into the air. Intended as an upgrade over the steam-powered launchers used in the Nimitz class, Hemels is much more precise, takes up less space, can launch more types of aircraft, recharges more quickly, and uses far less energy. New Ford carriers are designed with electromagnetic advanced weapon elevators that transport bombs and missiles from the ship's magazine to waiting aircraft. The new elevators can lift twice as much weight as the elevators on Nimitz-class ships. They also move 50% faster. Construction of this huge aircraft carrier began on 11 August 2005, at Northrop Grumman Shipbuilding in Newport News, Virginia. Gerald R. Ford entered the fleet replacing the decommissioned USS Enterprise which ended her 51 years of active service in December 2012. On 10 September 2008, the U.S. Navy signed a $5.1 billion contract with Northrop Grumman Shipbuilding to design and construct the carrier. Northrop had begun advanced construction of the carrier under a $2.7 billion contract in 2005. Of course, you need more than just a crane to get the job done. You need serious manpower, too. It takes roughly 5,000 people to build and assemble a Ford-class carrier. But that's not all. The USS Gerald R. Ford requires 4 million pounds of metal just to weld the ship together. And you can't just leave it looking all rusty when it's done. The ship needs to be painted, too. It takes 200,000 gallons of paint to cover the ship, and between 120 and 170 painters. The Ford class is the first new design for an aircraft carrier since USS Nimitz, CVN-68, which was developed in the 1960s. During its design and development, shipbuilders ensure that every inch of the ship was accounted for, and this actually helped save the Navy a projected $4 billion in ownership costs over the carrier's 50-year lifespan. Moreover, the Ford class was designed to be equipped with two newly designed reactors, which provide 250% more electrical capacity than previous carriers. That has allowed the ship to load weapons and launch aircraft faster than ever before. Despite great improvement on the ship performance, it has some problems, since deployment, the first two carriers of the class, have run into problems with the plumbing of the waste system. The pipes were too narrow to handle the load of users, resulting in the vacuum failing, and repeatedly clogged toilets. To alleviate the problem, specialized acidic cleaning solutions have been used to flush out the sewage system. These cleaning treatments cost about $400,000 each time, resulting in a substantial unplanned increase in the lifetime expense of operating these ships according to the GAO. These cleanings will have to be performed for the lifetime of the ship. 
Originally scheduled for delivery in 2015, Gerald R. Ford was delivered to the Navy on 31 May 2017 and formally commissioned by President Donald Trump on 22 July 2017. She is expected to leave on her first deployment as soon as 2022 or 2024. Christen the United States ship Gerald R. Ford. May God bless the ship and all who sail her. The USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier is the world's largest aircraft carrier, the largest warship ever constructed in terms of displacement, the most expensive aircraft carrier and the most expensive weapon in the world. Thanks for watching on Mo's Top. Before you continue with your other business, be sure you have subscribed and hit the notification bell. Like and comment with what you think is the most expensive weapon in the world. With that said, I will say goodbye for now. But you can still enjoy more videos from Mo's Top by tapping on these videos.